hi there everyone. Welcome to another episode of Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. And today, we have a fun little mono white deck here for you. And I bet you can guess it, it has gears in it. <laughs> hey yo! But before we get into it, we go ahead and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us and we love you very much for it. And the link will be down below. And let's get into the Golden Army. And of course, we have to have Liam, Trader of Knights, commanding a Knights deck. He's, a champ he's the champion, and when you destroy an opponent's tower, you uh, can add one gear to your deck to your hand. And that is insanely yeah. strong. And then once per turn, discard one gear from your hand. Target unit gets plus 500 this turn. And one gear like feeds off of that completely, and it's insane. Yeah, it's a free gear to pump your dude, and that the little bit of plus 500 makes it so much more ridiculous in this game than you think. Oh yeah, definitely. And we are actually playing with the new spirit, Spirit of Severmini. It has, at the start of the game, after mulligans, you may search your deck up for a gear that co that costs one and add it to your hand. So, there you go. You're already up a card. Soul Burst, equip target gear from your discard zone to target you control. That's really good, because it can be the game. Yeah, you just get so much value out of all this stuff. Because you start with an extra card, and then you get at least five extra cards off of Leo. Because every <laughs> yeah. time you kill a tower, you get a gear. Yeah. So, like, you just get all the value. Exactly. All right, first guy, Corm Squire. He's one for a 1,000 unit knight, and he's got runed. And so when he died, when he's destroyed or sacrificed, you add one gear with cost one or less from your deck to your hand. So yeah. this dude, he gives you value in his death, and he gets to kill towers. Yep. Which is so strong. Really strong. And this guy, Galleon Squire, it's a knight. It costs one. Arrive the next gear you play this turn costs one less to play. So on turn one, because... The spirit lets you go grab a one costume gear. You play this guy, you can equip it to him immediately. Yeah. Which uh, can be ridiculous. Next is the Red Rose Knight. She is two for a 1,000 unit. She's got Guardian. Whenever this card uses Guardian, you may add target gear from your discard zone to your hand. So you're just getting more gears. And then when this card is equipped with a gear, units adjacent to this card gain plus 500 and Guardian. So yeah. She helps protect your dudes, giving them more power and more survivability and you get survivability because you can be like guardian guardian i don't care that's like a win more card that costs two yeah and you put her like next to two of your little one drop dudes like the quorum squires you're like cool guardian walk and i get to go get a gear now yeah exactly and then whenever she guardians you go get that gear discard zone it's yeah. ridiculous and the next one is super overpowered is nova knight 2500 two drop it's a omega unit you have to place on one of your knight units Put a unit under this card into the discard zone, exhaust or recover target unit. So literally turn one, play whatever you care. Then you put this on a turn two, swing into a tower. If it's not green or red, then you put that card in the discard, untap this one and swing in for another tower. Turn, turn two. Yeah, because the Omega dudes get to free attack because they have to lose a dude. Yeah, and you get also two gears with that on turn two extra as well so yeah she she gets kind of out of hand yeah. she's just like turn two you're taking two towers thanks yeah. she's a 2500 yeah ridiculous next up is the blessed elemental he is three for a 3000 omega unit you place on one of your light units and place a unit under this card in your discard zone target unit cannot be the target of spells or abilities this turn so don't target my stuff by removing a dude that's you omega yeah seems good you can do it one time but that one time's gonna change the game. Yeah, exactly. They're wasting a spell, and that's yeah. all that's what's good. And we have Yuki, the Lightning Flash. That's a weird name. I'm the Lightning Flash. <laughs> Anyways, it's a knight, three drop, 2,000. Target attack, and if this card is in your hand, after one of your towers is destroyed, you can play it. So after they kill the tower, you just plot this lady for free. Yeah, if they kill two towers in one turn, you have them, you're just like, oh, free two. Cool, free drops on turn one or turn two. Yeah, thanks. Great. Next is Aron, the Shining Rose Knight. He is four for a 2,000, and spells cost your opponents spells cost your opponents one more to play for each gear you control. Yeah, that read weird. Uh, but if you have four gears, their stuff costs four more. They're like spells. Yeah. And then you can expel gears from your discard zone, whose total cost is four or more. This card gains Immortal this turn. So, if they want to kill this dude to make sure that they get to play their stuff, you're like, cool. No, remove my gears. I don't need them. He doesn't die and you have to still deal with it. Yeah, because there can be a lot of them in the discard zone for sure. The next one is the White Rose Knight. It costs four, it's a 2,000. All right, choose one for each knight unit and control up to three. So search your deck for a gear and add it to your hand. Equip target gear from your discard zone to this card 
and then switch target night unit to active so pretty strong very strong yeah most of the time you're going to want your gears back with him but he does a lot yeah. he has options and options yeah. win you games exactly Next up is Liam the Brutal Tyrant. He is 5 for a 3,000 unit knight. He arrives if you've destroyed an opponent's tower or unit in battle this turn. You may equip target gear from your discard zone to this card. Sacrifice a knight unit that is equipped with a gear. Deal X to target face up tower. Yeah. So this dude gets out of hand. Yes, very much so. Because you don't have to attack with this guy, and that's what makes it so strong. Is you're like, cool, I don't have to worry about it. I'm just going to kill your tower. Now I can swing in and make you have bad blocks, because you have to block now. Yeah. And the fact that you can just plop down a one drop, put a gear on it that you can get back anyway, and then just be like, alright, sacrifice this 1500, kill your tower, because towers don't really have that much life. Yeah. Insane. Also another insane one is Kara, the Glorious Valkyrie. It's a six drop, 5000. And it's an Omega unit, so place on one of your light units that is equipped with a gear. That's her special thing. But why? Because she has Guardian, Target Attack, and Unblockable. This card also costs one less to play for each of your destroyed towers, so she can cost up to one whole shard. Now neither player can play non-light spells and non-light units uh, come to play exhausted. Yeah, so hopefully you're playing light if you're playing against her, because otherwise you don't get to play your spells. Your kill spells that you want, you don't get them. Yep, your pump, kill spells, no, none of that. Just and she's got unblockable, so she can swing the turn in, you can't do anything about it. Yeah, exactly. Alright, so one of the one drop augment gears you can go get is the standard shard sword, and it is a plus 500 and target attack, you equip it to a unit. Yep. So it's just really good to get if you need it. It's, it's a really solid one drop because it gives you just plus 500, and I want to kill that dude now. Yep. The next one, one of the better ones, is Ketsu, the Living Armor. So one drop augment as well. Any damage it would be dealt is re reduced by 500 instead. So that's super strong. And then when one of your light units attacks, you may equip this card from the discard zone to that unit. The unit may only be equipped with one Ketsu, because otherwise it's uh, it's unkillable. Yeah. But regardless, this is really good with Liam because you just discard a gear to do special Plus ability. 500, yeah. And then you get it back because you're like, cool, swing. Put this on this dude throw this dude because I have Tyrant in play and just be like, I don't care. Yeah, exactly. Like, that card is so good with Liam. It's ridiculous. Next up is the Golden Rose Blade. It is two for gear. Equip only to target knight unit. The equipped unit gets plus 500, gains unblockable. And then whenever an opponent plays a spell, you may add this card from your discards onto your hand. Yeah. So you're already getting the ability to do the same thing where you ditch this to Liam to do things and you get it back for free. All you gotta do is wait for them to play a spell. It's a little more hard to do, but it's not really all that bad. Yeah. But giving a dude plus 500 and blockable is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, just for two. Two as well. So you can do it on that Nova Knight and be like, cool, swing unblockable, kill that tower, uh, uh, remove a card underneath it, swing Untap, again. Yeah. Thanks. I win. Thanks. All right, next one is Shining Shard Dra Dagger. I was gonna say Dragon for some weird reason. It's a two drop augment gear. It gets plus 500 in quickness, and it's one of the most powerful ones because quickness is a rare, awesome thing in this game. Mm -hmm. And the final spell we have of the deck is a Mega Magic Hikari, which is two mana, insta cast, and then you may put into play a Knight Token with Guardian. It's a 1000. If you have two or less towers, you put in two of those dudes. Yep. And super powerful. It's just super strong because it gives you that one Guardian you need whenever you need it. You're like, cool, no, Guardian, thanks. Or those two dudes you need to swing in to win the game. At the end of their turn and uh, also the rules check to go ahead and let you know if you omega on top of a dude that has a gear then the gear falls off into the graveyard which doesn't matter because in the discard zone you can cast it or whatever you need to do so, i mean yeah you have plenty of ways to get gears so. yeah cool. so, so it's all good now with the shards of course we have the spirit ruby and basically all it really is intended for is you tap it flip the face down flip your spirit face down destroy target you know. yeah, yeah, it's just there to help you kill a dude. And the other special crystal we have is Hollow Crystal, and it makes your guardians uh, get plus 500 this turn, which with the, the chick that makes other dudes the Rose guardians, Knight, yeah. yeah, the Rose Knight is just super good. And then have the Argent Shards as well. Yeah. Now, of course, we don't have sideboards, but we do have honorable mentions just in case what the meta is that you can put in the main deck or in the sideboard. But we have Shard Armored Worm, and it's a 5 drop 2500, which seems very little compared to everything else. But, arrive. 
Equip target gear from discard zone to this card. So cool. Destroy uh, when it has ruin. Destroy all units with cost equal to or less than the number of gears that were equipped to this card. So therefore, if they just kill your dudes or kill this big dude because it has a bunch of gears on it, then it board wipes them too. So they're just like, uh, it's a lose-lose situation for them, to be honest. Yeah. And you don't really care because you can get your stuff back. Yeah, exactly. Well, with that, that is the deck. Uh, the deck list will be down below. And hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, I just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all our future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout-out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you very you much. much. We love you.